You a vlogger, facing over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh why me, oh why me 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 Hi, my ninjas. How are you doing? It's your girl. Oh, I'm Nich Wajoro, aka Miss Fair for Calling Back for All Entertainment. If it's the first time you're joining me, almost a little welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly or wami. Now, my ninjas, I want to just say thank you guys so, so much for all the love that I saw in my previous video. Uh, yeah, man, I actually found out something new about myself, guys. I think I struggle with separation anxiety. There's someone that literally just described me to the core and she was like, she struggles with the same. It's called separation anxiety where in where you have to like have a, a, an adjustment period. If like the people that you were with have to leave and literally that is me. So I think, you know, I just feel happy. That is not like I'm crazy or whatever. I think it is definitely that separation anxiety. So I'm going to just go ahead and look up that and see how best way to cope so that it won't happen that every time uh, my siblings leave, I have to take a break because I'm just emotionally not coping. But anyway, thank you so much to the ninja that actually said that you really honestly just, um, yeah, I mean, you, you, you made me understand certain things about myself. So thank you so, so much. I also want to say thank you so much to my ninja guys. Like there was a day that I actually posted on Instagram saying that I, um, I was looking at the Stanley cups and the price is just pricing. And guess what, honey? guys she literally got me a stanley cup and i am just so grateful thank you thank you so much and i know i know i know another ninja actually saw me um saying that i wanted this and she actually got me this one this is not uh a well uh, a stanley but it's like a wellness but it works exactly the same um the shape is the same you still get to fit it in they're literally the exact same size they're actually quite huge um i think this one keeps your cold stuff uh for like eight hours if i'm not mistaken this one says it keeps for 12 she's not only just the ninja actually she's my friend so she was like i went to the u.s and i saw this and i thought of you because i saw you posted so thank you so so much friend like honestly i just i get so overwhelmed at the fact that you know there's so much love guys there's so 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 much love so thank you guys so so much i really honestly do appreciate and my water intake has definitely gone up i am actually drinking um hydrate let me go ahead and just show you the the one that i'm drinking because it was just right here so this is the one that i'm actually drinking guys um this one is like um this is not sponsored by the way right so this one's like mixed i think fruits or something um but it's really nice um it's almost like a kool-aid that is like highly diluted um so you know it makes you want to drink water just a bit more and i was struggling guys with the headaches and stuff you guys remember there were times where i would be like oh, i have such huge headaches and i can't um even film the light would be too much it seems i was actually dehydrated i was just not having enough water so hydrates actually help with that so this with hydrates like this i think is like one liter or one comma something one comma two maybe um this with hydrates is almost like i took like two liters or more you know so it's really honestly good i would honestly recommend especially if you're someone that struggles with um headaches migraines and stuff you should try um up your water intake with hydrates okay so yeah basically that is that i know this was like quite wow what three minutes okay i know <laughs> you're gonna attack me but please don't attack me now yesterday we're gonna talk about kelly kumalo okay we're gonna talk about kelly kumalo we're gonna talk about senzo mewa now i've not been talking about this case guys they've been going in and out they've been doing whatever it is that they're doing and i've just not been talking about it because i'm just like kizena guy <laughs> kizena guy shibobo kizena guy for some of you guys that do not know many many years ago you know a long 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 time ago there was a man called senzo Meiwa who was also aha okay like he was um 
basically let me not say let me not say that but he was a a, a woman a man that loved women right um he was a man that loved women so he was married to his wife whose name is Mandy if I'm not mistaken and then he met a girl that is called Kelly Kumalo right um he jollied with the girl from what we hear since they even moved in together um and then one fateful day towards night they go to Kelly Kumalo's mother's house to have sort of like you know Sunday course or something like that and uh he never comes out alive honey okay uh that man was shot and uh yeah and alive over there we do not know if he passed like on the way to the hospital or whatever we do not know but all we know is that for so many years since he passed the stories that have come out with people that have been in the house they've been very contradictive it has been wild it has also been very very crazy now there's also a documentary that came out when the documentary came out basically said that um it did seem like uh Senzo Miwa was now in contact with his wife and it seems like they were seeing each other behind Kelikumalo's bag allegedly right if i remember well that's the part that i still remember from the documentary wherein they were even alleging that the night that he actually got shot, shot he was supposed to have after they went to meet his wife now mind you guys this is a man that was umuntu wabantu do you understand like they even said it is friends that he was actually a man that loved women and so <sighs> He died there, Shibobom guy. He died there. Side chicks, mother's house, and everything. So now there's new revelations that have come out. They are alleging that Okelu Kumalo is actually the one that ordered the hit that took Senzo Miwa's life. Now, for some of you guys, if you remember, right before Senzo Miwa passed away, there was a song that Kelly Kumalo actually came out with, um, and she was singing, You know, it was like being sang in Venda, basically saying that I'm not the one that actually killed this man, blah, blah, blah. But this man was still alive, okay? And then this man died. And then, of course, his family, they literally, the, his father died actually saying that Kelly Kumalo is the one that actually took my child's life. We did not understand. We did not know why that would be, you know. But now it seems like there's a person by the name of, let me just go ahead and check this damn phone, Gininda. So the alleging that Gininda's affidavit says Kelly ordered me you are killing. So I was sitting down and I was like, okay, why would something like that happen? Why would she order a hit on the father of a child who the child was still so, so young? And then I thought of it and I was like, if Senzo Meiwa was actually sneaking around with his wife, then maybe were they in talks of getting back together and maybe was Senzo Meiwa about to leave Kelly Kumalo and actually go back to his wife. If you go back and you watch the documentary and you actually watch to listen and understand... You will remember that the way that they actually describe this relationship, it seems like Kelly Kumalo actually backed that man. Do you guys remember on how it seemed like she was very much the one that and then she fell pregnant and then she was um you know there was stuff that were being said this is the child that blah 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 you know if you guys remember you go to the documentary you guys will actually remember this that i actually got vibes that it seems like kelly kumara was actually forcing herself into this this man you know ah uh, so obviously um they are now alleging that yeah kelly kumara is the one that ordered the heat for me i think that if there's an affidavit that is out saying that uh kelly kumara is the one that actually ordered the heat the best thing would be you need to go and arrest her and then she needs to apply for that bail and that she can be out on bail as they're busy sorting this out but if there's no warrant of arrest for kilikumalo i'd be very disappointed in the justice system just because if your name is actually out and yet all the suspects or rather the suspects are arrested and the one that they're alleging is the mastermind is still out there and has never been arrested that makes no sense now obviously you guys know that from everyone that gets arrested it also goes with with um obviously an individual person there's certain people that are eligible for 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 bail and then there are other people that are not you know and uh, what i found is that it does it does seem like uh in this country you don't even have to be like a repeating offender or a repeater right because uh with uh nandi pamagudumana did they not deny her bail did they just postpone or was her bail actually denied because she's a flight risk i do not know but i don't remember uh nandi pa actually 
ever being arrested or anyway publicly, you know. I thought that she had a clean record and I thought that this would be cut. You know, she's going to come out because she's a first time offender or whatever. So I guess that if they now go with that thing of, oh, you know, this person might be a flight risk, this person might skip the country, then... I do not know, but I do think that um, if her name is actually brought up legally, I think that they should actually wa uh, issue warrant of arrest. Now, let's just say the allegations are true, and Kelly Kumalo is the one that ordered the heat for Senzo Miwa to 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 actually, you know, meet his 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 forefathers. <sighs> when I tell you guys, Akiditseni, my heart is not painful. Nothing. This man would still be alive. Or even if he had died, he would have died a different way. Had it been that he took his cheating, cheating behind and kept it in his marital home, he wouldn't be dead. He wouldn't have been killed. Anyway, shot at some random house. Mm -mm, that would not have happened. And I know some of you may think that, oh, you know, you're being so heartless. No, I'm not. Because at the end of the day, guys, how many times are we going to be sitting here crying for people that choose to go and walk in the den of lions thinking lions are not going to eat them? I'm getting like, we always do. I always say, guys, married men are dangerous. They might even take your life. But side chicks, Libona, they're dangerous. So to married men, they might take your lives. So... If when now you think we go to win Cocoton, you meet another Cocoton, the, the strongest one is the one that will come out alive. Honestly, for me, that is basically it. The strongest one is going to come out alive because what nonsense is this? For so many years, guys, like for so many, so many years, this man, um, his murder has never been solved. There's so much that is actually happening. I think that the sad part again is the fact that like imagine having to die and no one can even like feel entitled to loving you enough to want to see justice served for your death imagine that me personally i don't care if kelly uh killed him let it also be a warning to other men that love side chicks. Would your side chick can actually take your life, you know? Um, if she didn't, what was she doing with a married man? Do you get? Like, I don't feel sorry for any of them. Like, whatever it is that she's going through, those are the consequences of dating a married man. Um, him, I mean, he has suffered, I think, the biggest one because he lost his life, unfortunately, you know? But anyway, I think that for now, this whole thing is just confusing. I'm just tired of this case. I've said this, but you guys really wanted me to talk about this. Yenaya Queen. Not staying with his wife at home. So, yeah, basically that is me. My stand on this, my opinion. This is a guys. We will see. Is she going to get arrested? Is she going to go to jail? Is she not going to go to jail? I really just don't care anymore. And I think that because the case has been going on for so, so long, a lot of people are just tired. Well, we are honestly just tired. If they can just close the case, they can just go ahead and close the case because, wow. See, tired, guys. We are really honestly just tired. But anyway, do go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation. Personally, for me, I do not care. He chose what he chose and he got what he got. And unfortunately, he had to pay with his life. That is that. Ukele Kumalonae, that if she really did not do this, the fact that she dated a married man, like she paid one of the biggest prices, imagine. Because her whole name has been tarnished, um, you know, with this whole scandal and everything. I just, it's a lot. It really honestly is a lot. But anyway, I love you ninjas. Stay blessed. And please do go ahead and comment down below what you guys think. And please follow me on Instagram, guys. I really am trying to grow my Instagram uh, this year. So please follow me on Instagram. It's bold low. I mean, please follow me on uh, TikTok. It's also uh, Oami Entertainment or bold low. I mean, please, please, please. I love you ninjas. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye ninjas.